Hello, brethren. I'm Hosanna David. I want to share my rapture dream. Actually, I had this dream some years ago, but it really helped me. Even to today, it's helping me. So I want to share it with you because I believe that it will also add to your Christian life and give you more zeal to run this race. It was early 2000, I had this dream. Actually then, I, I just made up my mind afresh to be serious in the service of God, to serve God well and not run after the things of this world. And as I was in the dream, I was with my other two friends. We, three of us were choristers in the church. So we were moving on the roads, on the main roads. And what I could remember was there was a bright light shining from, from behind. The light was so bright, it was coming with full force. So I tried to look back. I was trying to look back to see what it was, but it was like my neck was stiffened. As I tried to look back, I, I did my best. I couldn't look back. Before I knew it, suddenly my two friends raptured. Their legs were lifted from the ground, and then they were going. They entered the sky. I started running. It wasn't me alone. Everywhere was chaotic. People started running. People were just running, running for their life. So I, I entered the hall and I saw a politician. I knew he was a politician. Nobody told me that. I knew because he was having some talks. Some young men were serving him. What I understood from what I saw was that he, was, he asked his boys, to lift him and drop him on top of a table. So he was standing on the table with the mind that maybe if his legs were lifted from the ground, he would be able to rapture the way other people were rapturing. But unfortunately, he couldn't rapture. When I got there, he was shouting on them, drop me down, drop me down, drop me down. And even at that moment, that chaotic situation, they were still serving this rich man. So as we were trying to drop him down, drop him down, as we were trying to drop him down, I jumped through the window. It was so chaotic. I never even cared about a door. I jumped through the window and was running for my life because everybody was running. And I woke up from the dream. I want to tell you that Jesus is coming soon. People have been having rapture dreams. In two ways, Jesus will come. Number one, he will come in form of the rapture to take, he, he would come, he would come in the rapture to take his people home. And then the tribulation will start properly. And then Jesus can come for you as an individual. I mean, not coming from heaven, but you going to him to face judgment. Death, that is what I mean by two ways. The rapture or you going to him as a form of dying and going back to your maker. Please do not just live your life as if Jesus will not come back again. Jesus will definitely, definitely come back to us. He will come, please. Don't live your life the way everybody is living their lives. If you look at the world today, there are so many things that are happening. Just what the psalmist says, that God looks down from heaven to see if there is anyone who did understand and do that good. But fortunately, God finds no one. Today, almost everybody in the world is doing the same thing. Please do not go after the ways of this world because Jesus will definitely come back. The Bible says that a thousand years in the eyes of the Lord is like a day. It's like a single day. And a single day in the eyes of the Lord is like a thousand years. So we are counting 
thousands of years that Jesus haven't come, just 2,000 plus, we are saying he hasn't come, but we should remember God lives not in time, God lives in eternity. We live in time, but God lives in eternity. His time, his calculation of time is different from our own. But what I want us to understand is that from all indication, we should know that the coming of Jesus Christ is near. Thank you very much. I beg you, please share this message and let people know that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Thank you. God bless you.